Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn how to use your Android camera and show the frames inside the app by creating a camera view and uh, by using the OpenCV module and after that we are going to learn how to use those individual frames and apply the operations on them. So without any further delays, let's get into the video. First of all, we need Android Studio of course and then we need the Android Studio project which has OpenCV integrated in it. And I have already created part 1 in this series by uh, that is kind of 5 minute video and you can watch and integrate the OpenCV with your Android app. So let's get back to our activity main.xml and in this we just need one view and that is going to be our camera view. And make sure this is uh, second one Java camera view. So hit enter and height and width for this purpose we are going to give match parent match parent and let's give id as camera view in the further videos we might change this also but for now for simplicity we are going to do this since we are going to access the camera we need the camera permission so let's get back to our android manifest.xml and say uses permission camera that's all for manifest now we need the camera permission so first of all we'll say get permission and we will create a function over here so we say void get permission and first of all we are going to check for the permission check self permission if the permission has been already granted or not so we are going to say manifest.permission.camera and if this is not equal to package manager dot permission granted and now we can request for permission if the permission is not granted by the user and which permission we need and you have to give inside the string array so new string array the permission we require is the camera permission that's all now you have to give the request code and now you have to override a function on request permission result to check if the permission has been granted by user or not if not then again ask for the permission so we are going to say if grant results dot length is greater than zero and grant result zero is not equal to package manager dot permission granted then we are going to say get permission once again that's all over here and next thing we are going to extend from the camera activity this is the change you have to make all right looks good and now i'm going to uh, minimize these functions just to make things look nicer and close this in over here now in our main activity main dot xml we have created this camera view so we are going to access this let's create a global variable you just have to say camera bridge view base and just name this whatever you want to and after the permission let's initialize this very easy find view by id r dot id dot camera view that's all now we need to set a listener to it camera view base dot set cv camera view listener and now we will uh, implement this interface and make sure you implement the second one which is cv camera view listener 2 and let's hit enter we are not going to use on camera view stopped we are not going to use on camera view started we are just going to use on camera frame this is the function which is called when the frame is captured by the android's camera then this is sent to this function and this expect it to be in mat format so we need to convert uh, this input frame into the mat format very easy just have to say input frame dot rgba this is going to convert the input frame to a red green blue alpha mat okay so after this you have to come in over here where you check if the open cv has been loaded successfully or not over here you just have to say camera bridge view base dot enable view that's all and lastly remember we have extended from camera activity you come to this blank space hit command n and go to override methods and you have to override get camera view list and hit enter and instead of returning this you have to return collections dot singleton list and pass this camera bridge view case that's all uh, i guess our app should work fine and let's hit run button okay so the app has been installed uh, built successfully actually my laptop got hanged 
uh, after applying this or recording and then installing and then running the emulator it is 8 GB model so I will going to record by using the camera so I will hit this run button one more time just to show you that the app is installed okay so first it is going to ask for the camera permission so I'm going to say while using the camera and you have to rerun this uh, since we have just provided the camera permission okay so you see that it is running successfully okay so I will uh, cut this alright so you see that it is running successfully okay so one last thing I would recommend you to do is to uh, disable or enable view depending on if your app is in the background or in the foreground so how to do that it's very easy again you have to say on resume when the app is resumed we have to say camera view base dot enable view that's all when the app is destroy on destroy function is there you just have to say camera view base dot uh, disable view similarly on pause view when the app is in the background you just have to say camera bridge view base dot in a uh, disable view that's all or your app is perfectly fine i will see you in the next video goodbye